Hi everyone, and welcome to our summer update. I'm Pat Becker, President and CEO at Becker Capital. And I'm TJ McConville, Chief Investment Officer. We hope you've been enjoying a beautiful summer here in the Pacific Northwest. We have some exciting news to share with you all today. We're growing at Becker Capital. To support that growth, we've added six new team members to our firm. Pat will introduce them in a moment, and then I'll be back with our thoughts on the markets. In the past year, Becker Capital has added six new team members to serve our growing client needs. Let's start with team member that joined Becker from the farthest away. He came from the Big Apple, New York City, Tyler Jaglowski. He specializes in corporate bonds and treasury securities. He came to Becker Capital from a multinational fixed income firm. He's a fixed income trader and analyst for us. He's going to work day to day with Deja Chris Rossoff and our other fixed income manager. Together, they'll form a dynamic team for our clients. Megan Selinski, she joined us from a large private bank as a client service associate. She does the vital behind the scenes work that makes everything run like clockwork. She brings her high energy, her experience to help make our clients' lives easier. Moving to the other side of the mountains in Bend, Oregon, Christine Deskamp jumped on board at Becker Capital from a major national brokerage firm. She's an associate director. She'll focus on wealth management and financial planning. She will be working side by side with the incredible Sharon Geck in our ever-growing Bend office. Brandon Faree came to us from one of the largest investment advisors in the country and holds a chartered financial analyst designation. I'm excited about Brandon and he's gonna help me with the day-to-day -day tasks with some of my clients so I can focus more on my role as CEO. Emily Genoir is a director focusing on financial planning and relationship management. She joined Becker from another well-known Portland area investment advisor. She is a certified financial planner. She's looking forward to working with many of our clients with their investment and planning needs. Melissa May, maybe you saw this in the Portland Business Journal. This is a very creative hire for Becker Capital. She's a director who will be in a totally new role for us. She is an estate planning attorney and came to us from a well-known law firm. Melissa will advise clients as they look at their estate and financial plans with their existing professionals. She will also play a pivotal role in enhancing our family office services. Very few firms have someone like Melissa doing the strategizing with clients on the front end of their future estate needs. As you can see, all of these very experienced people chose to come to Becker from other firms. You might ask yourself, why? We think this is because they're drawn to our culture and our reputation. Not to brag, but we're honored that the Portland Business Journal has just ranked us as one of the best places to work in Oregon, Southwest Washington in 2024. Any update from Becker Capital wouldn't be complete without talking about the markets. Here's TJ to share our current thinking. Thanks, Pat, and hello, everybody. Financial markets are never boring, and the second quarter was no exception. We've been cautious on the markets and the economy for some time now, and that caution was rewarded in the second quarter. There were some changes in trends in the stock and bond markets. Most stocks were actually down, which was a reversal from the prior two quarters. There was still a positive effect, however, from several large technology companies on some benchmarks. The swings in interest rate expectations continued in the second quarter. Once again, investors are expecting the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates this year. Bonds did a little better as a result. On the economic front, the data was mixed. Several of the headlines were good, but when we dig into the numbers, the data is a bit shakier. So where does that leave us? Well, we're back where we started. Caution, in our view, remains the right approach for now. As for stocks, we're staying broadly diversified instead of overcrowding the bandwagon of tech companies that has been driving the market. While we're finding some attractive opportunities at reasonable prices, we remain selective in seeking out companies with strong competitive advantages. Bonds remain appealing to us both for their attractive yields and for portfolio diversification. And lastly, we need no reminder that the election is getting closer. And no, we're not done with the headlines yet. The most important thing to remember is that over time, it's best to stay the course and remain invested. And whether we're talking about stocks or about bonds or other asset classes we invest in, our approach remains focused on the long term and on achieving your investment goals. As you can see, there's a lot going on at Becker Capital and a lot of new folks to meet. 
We hope to introduce you to these new faces the next time you're in our offices. Have a great rest of your summer, and as always, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Bye, everyone. Bye.